This is Joseph Trust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I generate a color ID map from polygroups? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have a tire model here loaded in. Now this tire model has some subdivisions on it. It currently has UV mapping on it. So here's the UVs here, and it is also broken up into polygroups. Now the polygroups on this model are broken up into materials. So areas on the mesh where I'd want to make material breakups, I have assigned a different polygroup. So I have say the tire here, which would be rubber as one polygroup, and then the different breakups of the metal as other polygroup, and then the cap here as maybe a plastic as another polygroup as well. So this model's polygroups are now corresponding to different areas of materials I may want to paint on this mesh. So the question is asking how I can take these polygroups and then turn it into a color ID map. So to do this, the process is pretty simple. We first just need to convert the polygroups you see here into polypaint and then convert the polypaint to a texture. So this mesh has UVs already, it has polygroups, and it also has quite a bit of topology. So I'm up to about 1.4 million points here. So I have enough resolution to capture the polygroup information here onto the polypaint and then convert the polypaint to a texture. So to do this, first we need to navigate over here to this polypaint area here, and we're simply gonna click this polypaint from polygroups. This is gonna take any of the polygroups on your model here, or the breakup of those polygroups, and then convert it into polypaint on your model. So just simply come over here and click this button. Now if I turn my polyframes off, you can see this is the new polypaint that has been established on the model now, and you can see those polygrouped areas I've been given a color, and you can see I have a breakup all the way across the mesh here. Now after I have this polypaint that is associated with the breakups from the polygroups, I can now come over here and just go to Create, and do New from Polypaint, and that is going to take that polypaint information and then apply it to the texture map. So now I have a texture map here that has that polypaint information on it, creating a color ID map. Now I can export this map out and then use it to create masks for different areas on the model that would contain different materials. Now this mesh did have quite a bit of topology on it. So when I did the process of converting the polygroups to the polypaint, it was able to hold that material. Well, let's say I have a lower resolution model. So let's say I have this cube here, and this cube has this breakup of polygrouping on it. And it also has UVs. So if I come down here and do new from UV check, you can see these are the UVs that are on this cube here. And so now let's say I want to do that same process again. So I want to take the poly groups that I see here, convert them to polypaint, and then convert the polypaint to a texture. Well, if I come over here and now click polypaint from poly groups, you're going to get this effect. So the topology on this model is so low that when it's going to convert the polygroups to the polypaint, it doesn't have enough vertices to store all that color information. So you end up with this kind of gradient box look. Now this isn't quite the effect I was looking for. So if you have something really low, what you can do is you can unweld the polygroup borders and then generate the polypaint from those polygroups, which will give you solid colors on each of these faces here. So I'm just going to turn off colorize here just so you can see the mesh with these polygroups again. Now to unweld these borders, you just need to navigate up here to the geometry tab and go to modify topology. And now we're going to click unweld groups borders. This is going to unweld the borders of all the polygroups here. So if I activate dynamic subdivision, you can see all those areas have been split. So now that I have these faces split by those polygroups there. If I now come down here and do polypaint from polygroup again, you're gonna see that I am going to get solid colors on each of those faces. Now once I have those solid colors, I can now come down to new from polypaint, and now I'm going to get a map that's going to be more material ID friendly. And then now I can export this out and use it elsewhere. So that is the process of taking polygroups on your model and converting them to a map that you can use for material IDs. So just make sure you have polygroups on your model, take those polygroups, turn them into polypaint, and then turn the polypaint into a texture. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.